What's going on? Sleep early. Honey. What's wrong? Honey. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Honey, wake up. Wake up, honey. Oh, my God. No, honey. Got to be kidding me. At least you graduate in seven months. Hey there. Mayor Collins. It's good to see you again, sir. As well, Sheriff Downs. I think that's gonna take some good news too. What is? We call Sheriff. <laughs> well, congratulations again on the new position. I'm sure after your time in the service, you'll find Salem to be quite peaceful in comparison. 
I appreciate the opportunity, sir. You're welcome. Oh, it's my wife, Carrie. And yeah, these are our kids. How do you do? Kyle Hi. and Allie. Nice to meet you both. Uh, this is Mrs. Winston. She's the vice president of the Salem Historical Society. How do you do? And McSwain here, he'll be here to help you keep the grounds and do any handiwork you need done around the house. Right, McSwain? Yes, sir. M Mayor. <laughs> the house is lovely. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Down. We are quite proud of it. You know, it's older than the country it sits in. By almost a century. It was built in 1692 by Jonathan Corwin, one of the adjudicators from our town's early days. Of course, it's been remodeled over the years, but every Salem sheriff called it home until about 60 years ago. That reminds me. Sheriff Down, your badge. Oh my gosh, it looks like an heirloom. Uh, indeed it is, Mrs. Down. It's belonged to every Salem sheriff. Did you t tell him about the stones? What stones? Uh, Mick Swain, don't you have some work you should be doing? Don't pay any attention to him. He's not the sharpest tool in the shed. But he'll get the job done. Your keys are in here, as well as information on the area, parks, restaurants, that sort of thing. There's another set of keys, but I, um, <laughs> I left them at the office. I'll have to bring them by later. It's fine, really. There's no rush. Well, now we'll leave you be. Sheriff, please take the rest of the week to get settled in. I'm sure the deputy can handle things for a few more days. And if you need anything, don't hesitate to call me. Mr. Mayor, thank you for everything. You're welcome. Good day. This place is freaky. Wow. Wow is right. This place is gorgeous. I don't think that's the kind of wow you met, Mom. This place even looks haunted. Oh, Kyle, don't start that again. Hey, I thought you kids are too old for ghost stories. This isn't a ghost story. Yeah, people were murdered here. It's an urban legend. It's a big old house. Big old houses come with ghost stories, especially in Salem. You left out free. This is a big old free house. And for that price, I am willing to put up with a lot. Go pick your rooms. Dibs on the biggest. I think you mean second biggest? No. my bat.
sorry. I... What are you doing up here? He must have flown through the window. You gotta be kidding me. Wayne! The bird! Ow! Damn thing cut me. All right. Got a shard of glass sticking All right, out. all right. Let's just get it cleaned up before it gets infected, okay? Maybe downstairs. Clean that up first. You believe in what witchcraft <laughs> no i do you do because <laughs> you are casting a spell on me right now <laughs> where is this coming from you got some objection no no i just I'm presently in perfect working order, Mrs. Downs. At least more perfect than I have been. Why don't you hurry up and take that shower and start making up for lost time? Give me five minutes, maybe less. You better be talking about the shower. I think that's my line. Hey. What is this? I haven't done a drag in nine months. I swear. Better not be lying to me, Sheriff. You guys know we heard all that, right? So gross. Old houses have thin walls, kids! <laughs> hey, Wayne, can you come in here for a sec? What's the matter? Hey, the, the lights are all wonky in here. It's probably a bulb. Two injuries in six hours. Go put some ice on that. Try not to uh, fall down the steps on the way.
rage freak. Okay, retard. Luca decided to wake up. Why'd you let me sleep so late? Thought you could use it. Next time, wake me. Will do. Where's your kids? Upstairs, not speaking to each other. What else is new? Allie thinks Kyle tried to scare her last night. Kyle mm -hmm. thinks Allie stole his baseball bat. It's a new house, I'll settle in. What about you? You were tossing and turning all night last night. I don't know. New bed, I guess. You heading into the office today? Mm. Mary says I got a few more days. Why do I get the feeling that you're avoiding this? Why would I be putting it off? It's just been a while since you've been in uniform, that's all. I'm fine. If you're not, I'm always here to talk to you or... Fine. Really? Okay, I'll be upstairs.
I'm gonna rip your... What is your deal? Nothing. Spaz. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Explain.
Way to start a job, huh? Yeah, you can say that again. Wayne Downs. Mike Goodwin. I'd say nice to meet you, but under the circumstances. Likewise. Sheriff, the body. cut him up like that my guess he caught a branch on the way down never did figure McSwain for the suicidal type you knew him? everybody knows everybody in Salem oh, damn it. I, I told him to kill the sirens the lights must have woken her I'm sorry boss that's all right she would have found out sooner or later anyway come on you might as well meet her What's going on? McSwain, groundskeeper, he hung himself. Oh my God. Is he? Yeah. It's okay, we're taking care of it. Uh, Carrie, this is Mike Goodwin, he's the deputy here. Hi. Sorry about the hour, ma'am. Fine. Would you like me to put on a pot of coffee? Oh, no, 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 don't trouble yourself. Thank you, though. Yeah, honey, why don't you go up to bed? I gotta talk to Mike for a few minutes, right? I'll be up front. You okay? Yeah, I'm just worried about the kids. We won't tell the kids. Just tell them we're looking for a replacement. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It's cold. Go to bed. Okay. Don't forget, you get cold too, super cop. Sorry, you don't mind, do you? Nah. You mind? Not at all. Lighter but no smokes, huh? When'd you quit? About nine months. Yeah, I've been meaning to give it up myself, but... Somehow, I don't think this is the week for it. I hope we didn't, uh... Start any trouble waking your wife. That's not her anyway. Just the kids, you know? They already think the house is haunted. Yeah, you can't have your civic forefathers execute 19 people for witchcraft without developing some sort of reputation. I mean, people tell all kinds of stories. Now, between the Revolutionary and Civil Wars, you'd be hard-pressed to find anywhere in this part of the country without a bloody history. Ours happens to just be a little more macabre. Yeah, it's a good word for it. Macabre. So what'd they hear? Hmm? Kids. Oh, just that 60 or so years ago, some guy went crazy up there, killed his family. Yeah, it's the same with all the teenagers. You know, we've been busting them, kids, every few months especially around Halloween time. You know, they come in, they sneak in the house, drink beer, that sort of thing. Although I have a feeling they won't be coming around much anymore now that the sheriff lives there. Truth is, ever since that house has stood, there's been stories about the Corman house. But you know, for the most part, that's all they are, stories. For the most part? You want to see something? Polished granite right there. Rumor has it there's 18 more out there just like it. 
18 what? Well, we're standing on the old courthouse grounds. They say the uh, executed were buried out here. Don't worry, I think the family's had them moved a long time ago. Yeah. Thanks for coming out so late, Mike. Like I said, it's a hell of a way to start a job, huh? Yeah. Once you get some rest, I'll probably see you tomorrow. All right, sure. I'll have somebody come pick up the truck in the morning. Yeah, good. Hey, Mike. Salem witches. How were they executed? They were hanged to death. All 19 of them.
You guys okay? Yeah, Kyle, everything's fine. Just go back to bed. Your dad just had a nightmare. Wayne. Wayne. You're fine. Get in bed. Come on. Five-0 on the block. <laughs> Morning, guys. I thought you had the week to settle in. Paperwork. How'd everybody sleep? How'd you sleep? Fine. You okay? No. I feel like I hardly got any sleep. Sweetie, you're just adjusting. It's your first night in a new house. Those are always rough. I'm not a child and mom. I can handle a new place. This is something else. PMS, maybe? Hey, settle down. Well, my night was great. Although I thought I heard you guys talking outside last night. It was really late. I felt like I was dreaming or something. Let's eat your breakfast while it's hot, okay? A good breakfast always fixes a rough night. All right, this is what I'm thinking. When we're done with breakfast, we'll cruise into town, check things out, maybe pick up some provisions. What do you say? It's gotta be better than hanging around here. Allie, shopping always makes you feel better. <laughs> oh, I'm done. Allie. <laughs> um, um, I know. Hey, you need any help? No, no, just clean that up. Kyle. Ah, uh, sorry, this is way above my allowance grade. Mr. McSwain, I... There's a VA hospital in Boston. You I could just... I don't need the VA, Carrie. Seeing McSwain like that I had to bring back some memories and... Post-traumatic stress disorder just does not go away, Wayne. I don't need the VA. How's Allie? Just lying down upstairs. I'm actually gonna run out and get some things for her. Anything I can do? Keep an eye on her while I'm gone. I want to bring Kyle, but I just didn't want to leave her alone in the new place, you know. I'll call Mike and tell him I'm coming in later. Hey. It was just a nightmare, okay? We okay? We will be. Love you.
Ali! Ali! What is it, baby? What's wrong? Ali, Ali talk to me. Ali! Ali, what's wrong? What's wrong? Sweetheart? Baby, come on. Come out of it, baby. Come on. Ali. Ali, you okay? Sweetie, you okay? Honey? Hey, Dad. Where are the keys? What's going on? Where are the keys? What's going on? Carrie, just give me the keys. They're in the car. Wayne! Sheriff Down, nice to see you again so soon. Can we talk? Of course. Let's sit. So I won't bore you with small talk, because obviously there's something disturbing you. Is it McSwain? Deputy Goodwin told me, of course, it's tragedy. This is not about McSwain, Mayor. Yeah, I'm listening. Stories about the murders that happened at the Corwin house. I want to know if they're true. Are they true? Yes. You tell me what happened. His name was Underhill. He drowned his boy in the bathtub, put a plastic bag over his wife's head, threw himself from the third story window, landing head first. The only survivor was his daughter, and they found her scared half to death in, in a catatonic state. Ended up killing herself years later in a mental ward. Now, why'd he do that? Well, that was a bit before my time, but from what I understand, the man was a complete crackpot. Uh, said he started becoming unhinged almost as soon as he became sheriff, running around talking about curses and hex and the such. The man thought the house was cursed. Why do you think that? <laughs> as I said, that was a bit before my I time. I said, why did he think the house was haunted, Mayor? Really, Sheriff? I, I think you're overreacting to this just a little bit. Listen, perhaps you're military. Look, I have no idea exactly what the man was thinking. Something about witches being buried on the Corman property. Lunatic frivol, I assure you. You sure? The only evil thing that ever lived in the Corman house threw itself from a window a half a century ago. Besides, the man's argument was moved on its foundation by any means. As Deputy Goodwin told you, most of the executed were exhumed and their bodies buried by their families. Most or all? Well, of course, there's no record of such things.
Hello? You must have just bit down on something, or I don't know, maybe you're grinding your teeth at night. Open up. All right, just, oh, it's okay. Oh, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Just uh, hold this in tight, okay? I'm gonna go get some hydrogen peroxide. Here, okay. Here, here, here. I'll be right back, babe. Hello, it's Mary Winston from the Historic Society. Hello? Hello? I know, I know. Oh. I know. It's okay, bite down. It's all right, it's all right. I know, I know. What are you doing here, Mike? Well, I came by to pick up McSwain's truck. I had a staff member drive it back into town for me. Okay, why are you still here? Well, I don't mean to overstep my bounds or anything, but. Carrie told me about what happened with your daughter. I wasn't aware that was police business. Well, it's not. She just... Is everything okay with you? I mean, after what you uh, told me last night... Well, you, you want to talk about last night? Let's talk about last night, Mike. Let's talk about the murders you told me never happened. What about them? I mean, like I told you, those are just stories. Stories don't produce corpses. I don't understand. What are you getting at? I went to see the mayor. There's no record of any corpses ever being moved from these crowds. Sheriff, come on. Don't let your imagination run away from you here. Yeah. That's what everybody keeps telling me. You got someplace better to be? Yeah, I guess I do. How do you think she is? You scared her half to death, and then you scared Kyle and I half to death. What's going on?
Jesus, Allie, you look terrible. Come here. Come on, sweetie, let's... Let's just get you in bed. The sheriff had them hanged here. Baby, what are you talking about? The sheriff had them hanged here. Who told you that? Salem 19. You need to get some rest. It's burning up in here. You don't have a fever. You're actually pretty cold. No, I... No. You just need to get some rest, that's all. I've been trying, but there's... a scratching. There's something. It won't let me sleep. It's probably just a mouse. All right? Look, just get some rest. I'll sit with you till you fall asleep. That's it. Take a nice, deep, long breath. Just relax. Shh. Right. Listen. There. Do you hear it? No, no sweetie. I, I don't hear anything. And kill it. Allie, I think you know me a little better than that. Are you worried about Dad? He's just a little stressed right now. It, you know, it's a big change going back to work full time like this. It was his fault, wasn't it? What was his fault? The man he shot. What did you say? When he was in the war. Dad shot a man. His name was Cooper. I thought he was one of the bad guys, but he was wrong. Did your father tell you that? I heard you guys talking downstairs. It sounded intense. Was it Mr. McSwain you guys were talking well, about? Why would we be talking about Mr. McSwain? Because he's dead. For. Bones. Whose bones? Wayne, you have to stop this. You have to. You're scaring me. You're scaring the kids. You okay? Are you crazy? Kyle?
I just got spooked. I didn't mean to hurt you. You know what you did? It was an accident. I swear. What about Allie, Wayne? Was that an accident too? I don't know. I saw something I overreacted. Like you did with Deputy Goodwin. There's things you don't understand. What is that? I found it upstairs. It was under the floorboards. Oh my god. Will you listen to yourself? First you're outside in the yard looking for graves and now you're ripping up floorboards? What graves? Kyle, go to your room. Go to your room! The stories are true. There's something in this house. What? The house is haunted? You listen to me. No! You listen to me, Wayne. You've relapsed. It is not about that. Yes, it is about that. And since when do you share this with our daughter? What? Look, what you went through was horrific, okay? But I am not gonna sit around and go through that all over again with the kids. What does that mean? They called Deputy Goodwin. You what? Why? Why did you do that? What happened with Kyle was an accident. I did not mean to hurt him. It doesn't matter if you meant it or you didn't mean it. You did it. And I'm not gonna wait for you to explode again. Okay, fine, then I'll lose my job. You can go back to living in one bedroom apartments and I'll work third shift security. I'm not going back Then to get help, Wayne. Look, I didn't tell Mike what happened. I just said we needed a hotel room. Good, that's what I want you to do. I want you to take the kids and I want you to get the hell out of here. It's not safe. Yeah, you're right. There's something off about this house. I just need you to figure it out that it's you. We can't just leave him. Just get what you need, Kyle. He's not gonna hurt us. I said get your goddamn things, Kyle. It's okay, you know? It was an accident. I'm fine. Yeah? Well, I don't believe there are any accidents with your father. Sheriff? Deputy? Look, I want you to know, I don't think anything of this. You know, it's a new house, a new situation. It just takes some time to work out the kinks, that's all. The kinks? Look, you guys aren't the only couple. I mean, you know, considering your background. Shut up, Mike. We both know you think I'm crazy. If you haven't done it already, you're gonna go to Mayor Collins. Tell him about this afternoon. You can stop pretending we're friends. Look, all I'm trying to say is that I understand you're stressed. You don't understand shit, Mike. If you did, you wouldn't be here. Thank you for coming, Deputy Goodwin. Yeah. Oh, can you go put this in the car? I'm gonna go help your sister with her bags. Ma'am, I can go help Allie. Give you two a minute. Yeah, why don't you do that, Mike? Excuse me. God damn it, Wayne, do not make this any harder than it is. You listen to me. I would never hurt you with the kids. I need you to understand I'm not the threat here. Then what is? Let me show you something. Allie?
Allie? Here, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Allie? Thirteen obituaries. Every one of them's a Salem sheriff. They did back 300 years. All right, so what does it mean? Every man in that file died in office, but not a one of them died in the line of duty. They died here, in this house. This is Corwin. He built the house. He's the picture in our study. Yeah, he also presided over the witch trials. That means that every arrest, every execution, every act of torture came at this man's decree. Downstairs. What? I'll get what? Allie. What? Why did you leave her up there? I'll get Allie. I'll get Allie. Allie. I'll get Allie. Here, I need you to take your mom. Allie, answer me. Wait. You've been on the range with me dozens of times. You know how this works, right? You know how this works, yeah. Kyle. Yes. You take your no. mother and you drive. No what you see or what you hear, you don't come back. What about you? you? Me? Don't come back. I'll get Allie. Uh, Allie. Mom. Allie. Mom. 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 Oh, 
gotta go. Oh, you can't go.
so happy to see you. You're just like all the others. Thinking you could forget what you've done to us? But we made you remember. First, we killed that bitch wife of yours. And then we beat your son to death. And now, we have Alan. And her precious little body. <laughs> <laughs>